not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. While other kids play after school, I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. Today on Dino Squad, Buzz is the victim of a school bully. Will Buzz get his revenge by going dino? Or can he learn to handle the situation without fighting back? Man, Fiona, the Tyranno cycle is amazing. I added stealth mode, off-road capability, and an autopilot that'll follow you anywhere. Plus, now the cycle uses a hydrogen fuel cell, so no emissions, which makes it eco-friendly. Sure, upgrade Max's motorcycle. Max gets everything. Max gets autopilot, Max gets stealth mode, he even gets better fuel efficiency, while the rest of us contribute to global warming. So not fair. <laughs> Wait, Buzz, you don't understand! Something bugging him? It's Buzz. I suspect something is always bugging him. Yeah, but lately it's been that bully, Mr. Nasty McFinn, who's really been giving Buzz a hard time. That McFinn has the worst hair. But what do you want from such an oaf? Whoa! You think the bike is sweet? Check out my magnetic counterbalance solar powered mini copter. I'm getting it ready for the bring your favorite marvel of science to physics class assignment. We're almost finished, Dr. Velocity, sir. Excellent. With this experiment, we will be able to track the flight pattern of these birds. They hold great potential for spreading the perfected primordial ooze. Once, of course, it is perfected, it won't be long now before I am ready to achieve my dream of altering the Earth into a new paradise. I shall usher in a new reign of dinosaurs. No more will these silly monkeys crowd the Earth with their pathetic existence. I will wipe them all away and bring back a true species worthy of this planet. Dinosaurs shall rule the Earth once again! Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. What you got in the box? Cookies from your mommy? <laughs> Back off, McFinn. What's your problem? My problem? You're my problem, freak boy. Tell him, McFinn. Tell him why. My problem is that you don't look right. In fact, you look stupid. You look so stupid that it, it makes me mad. You hear me? You look stupid. So you better stop being stupid, and you better stop looking stupid, or else! You are the coolest, McFinn. You sure showed Freak Boy. Yeah, Freak Boy. Freak. <sighs> you okay, Winifred? Aw, the latch on your cage got damaged, Winifred. It's, it's that McFinn. What a big loser. What a total ignorant Nimrod. I could just go dino on that guy. He would be so terrified. <sighs> Some boa constrictors can grow up to 20 feet, and many live anywhere from 20 to 30 years. That's a lot more biology class, but the boy loves his snakes. Oh, now don't you worry. I won't let her get you. 
Ms. Moynihan, I hate to interrupt, but I need you to sign these forms. I'll be right back, class. Look, everybody! Buzz finally got a girlfriend! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you guys say? Maybe that snake is Buzz's date for the prom. Man, wouldn't that be awful? I mean, I feel sorry for the snake. <laughs> hey, knock it off. That's enough. It's not cool, McFinn. I don't need no advice from you. All right, class. I'll see the rest of your scientific marvels tomorrow. No, I don't know. Come on, I'll see you tomorrow. Ms. Moynihan, can I leave Winifred here until tomorrow? Because I just have to get out of here. She's been fed and everything this week. She'll be fine. Don't you worry. Go on now. This experiment is going extremely well. The mutated flock is making excellent progress. They've almost reached... Hmm, Portsmouth, Kittery Point. It's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> How's everything going, Buzz? Honestly. Yeah. You okay, Buzz? Sure, I'm okay. Really. Now leave me alone. Did I just hear someone ask Buzz if he was okay? Buzz okay? How could you tell? <laughs> Not today, Roger. Knock it off. Buzz, how could you really be okay? We heard McFinn giving you a hard time. McFinn? That guy is such a goon. I could just go dino all over his head and he wouldn't even know what hit him. Ah, the age-old dilemma between the choices of conscience. Go dino on his head. No, don't. Violence will only make more violence. Kick his backside from here up to Bangor and back down to Boston. Be strong in the face of the bully. Stand up tall. Don't let him push you around without violence. Go Dino! Ugh. Hey! I was using those! Yes, Roger, you certainly were. And some of your ideas are pretty good. But maybe the presentation isn't helping a whole lot? I'm just so amazed, Buzz, that you haven't gone Dino on McFinn. That takes a lot of self-control. I'm proud of you. Look, Buzz, if you don't want to be picked on or bullied, be more like me. Nobody picks on me because I'm so beautiful. Be more perfect, and you won't get picked on. It's that simple. Give me a break, Caruso. That's the worst advice I've ever heard. Buzz is perfect just the way he is. He shouldn't have to be anything other than what he is. Tell that to McFinn, the ignorant Nimrod. Well, what can we do? There's got to be something you can do to change the situation. We gotta look at some of the options, Buzz. Try to be assertive, but not aggressive through body language. Grrr. Stand up straight, shoulders up and back. Grrr. Now you're sporting a physical stance that shows confidence. <laughs> Excellent. Next, make eye contact with the bully. Really go eye to eye. Um, okay, not that much. It's more a figure of speech. <laughs> anger is a big problem. It's so easy to get angry when bullied. You have to control your anger because otherwise you keep the anger going. <laughs> anger makes for more anger and you feed what they call the cycle of violence. You never get anywhere that way. Plus, it's plenty hard on the furniture. You know, we could always try talking to McFinn. You tried talking to him in science class, and you saw how well that went. Yeah, I was tempted to go dino on him myself. Even more importantly, we should talk to Ms. Moynihan or the school principal. Yeah, that is vital. What about your parents, Buzz? You could talk to them. Yeah, that's true. They would help. You could always try to avoid McFinn. He looks for me. He follows me. 
I never did anything to him. I don't get it. He always seems to find me whenever I'm alone. It's kind of silly to be afraid, because I face crazed and crazy mutant sores all the time. But, but with McFinn... With McFinn, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to deal with him in human form. And that also makes it harder. But don't worry, we'll stick by you, no matter what. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? The satellite feed is picking up mutant sores, and they're coming in fast. It's some type of dino seagull. A new genus, Loris Morinosaurus. Lauren, Marion, what? We just call them Gullosauruses? Close enough. They're headed right for Kittery Point. It's going to be a hard enough time capturing them and deusing them, much less having to do it in front of the entire town. We need a plan, and fast. Giant mutated seagulls. I have an idea, but I'll need to borrow Max's tricked out Tyrannocycle. No, you don't. Sweet. Awesome. Beautiful. I tried to tell you earlier, I upgraded everyone's motorcycle. I was just using Max's Tyrannocycle to work out the details. And Buzz, I even upgraded the sound system in your helmet. Too wicked sweet. There they are! We need to intercept them! That's where all this bread comes in. I borrowed it from Ms. Moynihan. Good thing she takes bread so much. Those cool sources look pretty big and pretty hungry. But when you go dino, just put your bike on autopilot. It'll follow you. If I know gold, and I think I do, they can't resist food. Come get it! That's strange. Something's wrong. They're changing direction. Hmm. Something's giving me interference on the satellite imaging. Oh, a little interference, Vic. You poor thing. <laughs> Ready when you guys are. Then let it rip. We've got incoming. It's Velocity. Let's hit it, Dino Squad. Time to head for home. the track 
Five. Five is my guess. The same number of perfect dinosaurs I saw back in Manchester, New Hampshire. Hmm. That was some serious mutant soar action. We came, we froze, we deused. And our upgraded bikes are totally styling, Fiona. Nice job. Everybody did a nice job. It's kind of ironic. We just saved the town of Kittery Point from giant mutant seagulls, and nobody's gonna know about it. Especially that bully McFinn. We know, and that's what's important. Guys, it, it really meant a lot to me that I could talk to you all about this whole McFinn thing. Maybe I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about it yet, but I do know that no matter what, I'm going to be myself. I'm not going to let any thick-headed bully tell me who I am or who I should be. Especially if you're beautiful. You don't need anyone to tell you that. You can just look in the mirror. That's nice, Caruso. Nice. Whoa, watch the hair, will ya? I just fixed it for tomorrow's science class. So you see, this hair is a scientific marvel, an eighth wonder of the world, a glory for all to behold. It's so perfect, it's perfect perfect. Look on its beauty and despair. Um, Mr. Caruso, would you join me in the hall a moment? Perhaps I haven't properly explained to you what the term science actually means. Yo, Buzz, your hair is a scientific marvel in a study of ugly and stupid looking. I don't know what you mean, McFinn. I like my hair just the way it is. It's a study of perfection. Or as Caruso would say, it's so perfect that it's perfect perfect. And it is. Yeah, Buzz! You go, Buzz! It is perfect! Go, huh? You're gonna take that from him? No way! He talked back to you, McFinn! Don't take that from him! Well, I... I... I say your haircut is stupid! Stupid! Ah! Ah! Get it off me! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! McFinn is a big chicken? A big coward? No way! Way! Relax, McFinn. She won't hurt you. Will you, Winifred? No. She's too sweet to hurt anybody. Well, unless it's something she wants to eat. But, but, but... Snakes are so slimy! They're not slimy. Not at all. They're smooth. Feel their skin. Go on. She's not gonna hurt you. Hey, you're right! Look, everybody! I'm touching a snake! This is so cool! Yeah, I know. Isn't it? You should never judge anything by how it looks. Snakes, other animals, people. That's weak, McFinn. Yeah, I, uh... Thanks for... Taking the snake off of me. You know, when I was freaking out about the snake and you were right there, it kind of made me think, well, how you must feel when I'm always giving you such a hard time. It, it's just that, well, you look so weird, you know? It's kind of scary. Well, McFinn, you look plenty weird to me, but it's no biggie. Yeah, I guess. Huh. Never thought of it quite like that. Want to hold her? Um, let's not get carried away. Thanks, Winifred. I owe you one. Buzz, I wanted you to know that I've talked with Aaron McFinn and his parents. They're all coming in for counseling. Some of the others told me about the bullying, and counseling is vital for kids and for their parents. I want your parents to come in, too. I've already talked to them so that we can all get together, sit down, and discuss what's happened and how to deal with it. Thanks, Miss Moynihan. I'd like that. I'd like that very much. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. Other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero oh.